What is going on folk, it's NimbleThor here, and welcome back to my mobile gaming quest where I document playing a brand new mobile game every single day from Monday till Friday here on the channel. And today we're going to check out Infinity Ops, which is a sci-fi first person shooter that I've quite enjoyed this morning. Oh, there's a guy there already. Did you, <laughs> did you guys see that? We literally spawned right in front of a person that we luckily could take out very, very quickly. Let's take out this guy here. As you guys might have noticed, we have automatic shooting. I don't know if you guys can really see that because you obviously can't see if I'm tapping any buttons, but I'm not. So we shoot automatically when we just aim at people. Some of you guys might not like that. And for those of you who don't, luckily you can turn this system off completely in the settings. If we just go in here in the settings, you guys can see we have aim assist and we have auto shoot, both of which can be turned off. For this video though, I'm gonna keep it on. I find it a great help to start out. I know that some of you guys really hate it and I don't tend to like these types of systems either, but in this game, it actually kind of does make sense and it's a nice way at the very least to get introduced to the game. It looks like we'll win now this match here. We got 14 kills. We joined at a, at a pretty nice time uh, because we joined the winning team. This game has been developed by Azure Interactive, by the way, which some of you guys might know from the very popular Pocket Troops and Tiny Troopers games. But for some strange reason, it's only available on Google for now on Android. It's not out on iOS just yet. I am not sure why. I hope at some point it will eventually release on iOS as well. So just fingers crossed for those of you guys who are on iOS. If you're on Android though and you do want to check it out, go check out the download links in the description box down below as soon as this video here is over. Because in this video, we'll go over the mechanics of the game, we'll talk about the monetization, and conclude as we always do with the mobile gaming fact at the end of the video. So be sure to stick around for that. Overall, there are four different game modes in this game. Right now, we are playing Team Deathmatch, but there's also a Deathmatch, just normal freefall Deathmatch mode. There's a Hardcore mode where bullets deal double damage, and then custom games where we can go in and play with friends and we set the rules ourselves. Obviously, we don't get any experience points and we don't get any loot from playing those matches. We don't get any ranking points either, but it's a great way to, to play with friends. So if you have some friends who you can convince to play this game, definitely go check out that game mode. I'm really happy to see that in here because we don't have that many games with you know local area or custom game modes in there. Uh, so, so I'm really glad to see that. I hope to see much more of those types of games in the future. Okay, so we're just jumping into another match here. For some reason, we got a timeout on the internet connection uh, in the other match, so we were disconnected. But we're back now in another match, and I will go over the different classes now. So there are four different classes in the game as well. We start out as a uh, as a recruit, because that's the starter class. But there are also a tank class, there's a killer class, and there's a medic class. Each of these classes cost 500, no, 950 gold actually to unlock. So you do have to save up some gold to buy those. That's what I'm saving up for right now. And gold is really difficult to come by. So be sure to save it up and spend it very, very wisely, guys. We get gold from loot boxes. We get it from watching advertisements or from daily login bonuses and whenever we level up. So there are many ways to get gold, but we really don't get a lot of gold from those loot boxes, from leveling up, and so on. So really, guys, spend it very, very wisely. As for the controls, we have the auto-aim, as I talked about before, and apart from that, the joysticks work really nicely. I haven't experienced any issue with that. I mean, we can look around very easily, just look at this, and we can, like, walk around very, very seamlessly and, and smoothly as well. Oh, no, guys, we were killed really quickly there. Oh, he had a sniper, he had the sniper. We should try the sniper, by the way, because we can have a couple of different weapons with us, actually three different weapons into one single battle. So let's switch to one of the other weapons by holding down over here, and let's switch to the sniper ourselves. Oh, let's get that guy, let's get that guy. Come on, aim, aim, oh, yeah, we got him, we got him, got him. Okay, headshot, headshot, headshot. Oh, no, we got assist. Actually, the tank got that guy. We can get into the tank as well, by the way. I mean, we could if, if there weren't anyone in there right now. Uh, and we, could, we would be able to control the tank. Let's take out this guy. Oh, the sniper is so amazing. This is the first time I'm playing with a sniper, by the way. Oh, let's take out. Oh, we got an assist. We didn't even get an assist there, actually. We should have gotten an assist. Okay, there's a guy coming up there. We saw him walking before. Oh, we got a kill. <laughs> oh, man, it's nearly too easy with this sniper. We should have used that much more. By the way, this sniper isn't equipped from the from the get-go, but you can go equip it. Uh, just just open the uh, the equipment settings and definitely equip that as soon as you start playing the game. We took out that guy as well. All right, where are the other people? Oh, there's a guy. Oh, there was a guy over there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I love playing with the sniper. We have five kills. The opponents have four kills right now with three minutes. 
and 20 seconds left uh, on this server here. As for the monetization, we can buy gold and premium currency for real life money, but luckily we can buy most things in game or acquire most things for just the in game gold. And that's fantastic, of course, because otherwise we'd have to buy premium currency, obviously. And we don't really like when we have to do that because it means the games become very pay to win. I will say, though, that with the very, very small amount of gold that we get as a free player just playing the game, you do have to grind quite a bit if you want to unlock you know, everything in the game. So is it pay to win? I wouldn't say it's necessarily pay to win, but it's definitely pay to progress faster. And that will impact the game, especially in the early levels, because we won't have enough gold saved up, so we won't really be, be able to compete with those players that spend real life money on the game. I could go in there right now and, and buy gold for real life money. I wouldn't be able to buy every single weapon in the game. Luckily, uh, there are some restrictions where we have to be, for example, level 10 to be able to use this weapon. If, if those systems weren't in there, it would definitely be just even more pay to win. Let's throw a grenade up there. We can see the guys hiding up there. Let's throw a grenade. We probably threw that a bit too far. Uh, let's see if we can get up there and get one of them taken out. Come on. Oh, oh, there he is, guys. Do you see him? Let's take him with our sniper. Come on, just one more hit. One more. No! No, he got us just before we got him. There's just one hit left. Luckily, the tank got him, and it looks like we were sniped by the guy up there instead. Oh, man. That really sucks. I want to try to get into the, into the tank if at all possible, but it might not be possible. But if it becomes available, I'll definitely try to get in there. Let's get this guy. Let's get this guy. We do have a potion or a health kit with us, by the way, but they just take, a, take us out too quickly. In this match, guys, we really have to be... I think we have to try to get the high ground. That seems to be what everyone is doing anyway. And and, and see if we can kill people from up, uh, from up there instead. But the monetization of the game does mean that the game isn't a fantastic competitive game. But as for a game to play with friends... Yes, this game is, is definitely great, especially because of the custom game modes in here. Um, that makes the game a, a fantastic type of game to play casually and a fantastic type of game to play if you have a couple of real-life friends who is looking for a new game to get into as well. So definitely, I recommend you guys go check it out and leave your thoughts on this game down in the description box. Sorry, not the description box. The comment section, of course, down below. And, uh, and we'll have a great discussion about it. I'm really looking forward to hearing what you guys think about the game. Do you like... Uh, the sci-fi setting, don't you like that? Uh, do you really hate the monetization of this game or do you think it's okay? Do let me know in the comment section down below. Before we end off here with the mobile gaming fact of the day, I just want to show you guys how we unlock new weapons. Because I really want to show you guys that before we end off. So, we can go in here to the equipment and we can tap on any weapon. And here we can see the different types of weapons that we can then now unlock. For example, assault rifles, we have some different ones where we have to be level 30 and we have to get them from chests. Some we have to be level 10, for example, this one. Whereas this one we can actually acquire right now if we want to for 570 gold or from, from chests. We can get it from chests. So let's go open one of these chests right now. You guys can see that we have two of them with a two hour cooldown, but we can open it right now for 10 gold coins. So let's do that. And let's hope we get something better than, well, better than 10 gold coins, really. We got HHL8 premium, which is a mine. We got 10 of those and that's all we got, it seems. So we spent 10 gold, which might not have been the best investment, but you, of course, never really know with, with these loot boxes. I do want to buy, actually, one of these loot boxes and we can acquire the silver one, just to show you guys so you get an idea of what you might might be able to get from these loot boxes and what the chances of actually getting it is. So it seems chance to get rare items are very, very low, but we're going to spend 40 gold anyway, just for those of you who have decided to stick around. So we got the electric grenade and we got 50 of those. That's actually not too bad. Let's spend 40 more. Let's just spend all of this gold, guys. Let's spend it. We got 60 gold. <laughs> Good investment. So we basically got the, the 10 gold back that we spent before. And what are we going to get here? We got 60 gold again. Oh, man. This is a money machine, guys. Let's do it once more. Once more. Okay. This is how you lose money in casinos, by the way. Restores uh, 275 HP over 50 seconds. 15 seconds. That's nice. And we got 50 of those. I think I'm going to stop here and just going to start opening this one and wait two hours and come back and see that one. And in eight minutes, we'll get a regular chest for free as well. So, guys, thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. Here's the mobile gaming fact of the day, which is not strictly mobile related, actually. But Fortnite is apparently to blame. And listen, guys, for over 200 divorces in the UK this year alone. So maybe now is the time, I mean, since the video is over, to step back and spend some time with your significant other, if you have one. If you don't, of course, be sure to stick around here on the channel, watch some of the older videos that you might have missed. And until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around.